All right, good morning guys. Can you hear me? Uh, let's get this party started. Let's see, what do we have here? Coins are gapping higher. My EWC is gapping lower, okay. As you see, I've been cleaning my portfolio quite a bit this week because I just don't see a big edge anyway right now. And right now, I, there are more short setups than there are long setups. So I'm stalking some of these. I'm stalking these ARC ETFs in case they get rejected on these uh, moving averages. In case they, um, you know, if, in case this is backside. Because I really strongly think these things could easily retest 100 day over the next few weeks. Lift for a short, mm, not yet. Uh, I mean, it could work, but uh, it needs to get below the 20 day first. But yeah, it would we, have a clean break here like 48.50 down to like 38, 39s. Yeah, it could if the market pulls back. Sure, I, I'm gonna focus on these ETFs and uh, these larger names. Yeah, this is the type of uh, market where you're going to get shopped up if you're not careful. We've had, you know, straight up for two months. I think the easy money for this run is over. I think we need time to either pull back or to adjust. If you keep, you know, buying every random breakout, yeah, you know, you're not going to last long. That's just how it is. Got to realize where we are in the market cycle like you know you need to see these stocks you know you know a lot of setups you know a lot of stocks setting up again right now there's just not many there's some random stuff here and there but nothing that really excites me at all at all yeah Do you see more selling on Fubo or Snow? Yeah, sure, why not? I don't know. NXTD, is it a long today? Yeah, it could be. It bounced off the 10 day. You know what? I like this NXTD. I kind of like it. It's a coin name. So, you know, it's the hottest sector right now. This crypto related stocks. NETE. Uh, I don't see a good setup here. I, and I don't know why it's gapping up. Oh, wait, this is a. Oh, it's an EV related? Yeah, I don't know what the news are. If the news are good, could be a long. So, because some assholes on the stream sent me a ton of noko, I have unlimited supply here at home. 
I can't stop drinking it. Fucking enablers. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, I don't see a short setup on TGTX. It's a mid cap biotech, and you know, fo uh, fo if you're gonna short stuff that's not parabolic, I wouldn't do it on like these mi small mid cap biotechs. Focus on ETFs. MGNI. Uh, yeah, maybe if it starts losing this 2950 area, yeah, it could work. It's been kind of building higher, low lower highs, but. Um, yeah, could work. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pass on it. But KSS. Well, it's on my watch list. I'm literally looking at it right now. Still short QS? Why wouldn't I be short QS? I think it's gonna hit 80. Like my like my game plan yesterday. I'm not gonna cover a single share about above 80 unless I get stopped out. Yeah, KSS and JWN, it's the same sector. They both look good. JWN is a bit higher ADR. I'm not really going to trade much at the gate. I, I'm not seeing anything exciting. A except for um, Indonesia Energy Company, what the hell is this? Except for that... Uh, NXTD, that's the only one I'm I may trade out a gate just because it's such a hot sector a hot momentum stock and Bitcoin shows no um, signs of slowing down <coughs> all the Bitcoin or sorry all the uh, Bitcoin related stocks are you know they're just building higher lows all of them If I think TTD is gonna bounce today, it could. It kind of stopped above the 50-day and built a little bit, built a bit of a wick into the close. Um, that could be seen as a bullish candle, but I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. I'm gonna use the 10-day as my trailing stop. Right now, my stop is at break even. Um, like I, you know, I'm not convinced. It could they, you know, bounces for one day or two days or something. But I, I, I don't know. I think this thing could go lower to the hundred day, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. It's unclear right now. Like I have, uh, I'm about fifty percent short, fifty percent long.
KSS looks really good on a 60 minute. I have to give it that. Hmm. But again, I, I'm not gonna... I don't know. It feels wrong buying any breakouts here. It feels a bit wrong, I don't know. JWN and KSS. Department stores. You know, when department stores are pretty much the only stocks breaking out, I don't know. It's it's not a great sign. It's not a great sign. The setups themselves are good. Don't get, don't uh, get me wrong, but I just rather do nothing. I'd rather miss those two than you know get into a bunch of stuff that I don't even like trading. Well, that NXTD tanked fast. There are some, some things are strong, some things are weak. Not getting a good read. Pinterest is weakening. Saber. Well, the Saber entry was two days ago. That, that's when it broke out and then it pulled back built a higher low it looks good if you bought it two days ago some of these oil gas names are strengthening hmm. oh Beely oh my god my Beely I sold Beely uh, almost 20% ago now <laughs> this thing just keeps going Macy's, another department store. This thing actually broke out like four or five days ago. But Department stores are leading, what can I say? And some of the China names are strong too. But I don't see that many... Okay, Vips. Actually... 
Hmm. Bio, yeah, China is also very strong. A lot of Chinese stocks breaking out. And commodity related names, okay. NIO, what about the NIO? EV stocks? Yeah, I don't see setups in these. NIO did bounce off the 50 yesterday though, that's a nice sign. Um, but I would prefer this thing to go sideways a bit more, personally. I don't think it's necessarily a great setup. The semiconductors are strong too, the semiconductor ETF is very strong. XR ETF, uh, yeah, it's incredibly slow, but the setup is so okay, I guess. Yeah, Baidu, Shaidu, there, yeah, yeah, Baidu is a decent. It's, it's an okay setup. I would prefer the twenty day to catch up a bit more, but yeah. We are have, seeing some rotation. But I'm not gonna chase this rotation. I'd rather see more solid setups in stocks I'd like to trade. But this socks all though. Hmm. Why are semi so strong? So Soxel, I, I tried it on the long side two days ago. I tried it on the short side yesterday and I'm now I'm trying it on the long side again. <laughs> but yesterday was a very bullish candle. It tried to break down below the 20, built another higher low and then it built this big wick. It is a sector that is showing some big relative strength. It's a momentum sector that's showing big relative strength and it has been basing. It actually has a decent base, like the semiconductor ETF. <laughs> AA, yeah, all of these commodity-related metals and stuff are trying to go for breakouts. Potentially. I don't know. Michaels, yeah, it broke out yesterday. Yeah, PDD is a monster. This thing doesn't care. Didn't really give a setup like I like to buy them off, but you know, that's trading. You're not gonna get perfect setups all the time. Key is really like this arc, K and arc chief. They um, they remain on backside. If these 20, like the 20 and 65 EMAs on the 60 
minute are going to act as a resistance from now on. FCX, slower type of stock, but that's the stocks that are working right now. Those are the stocks that are working right now. Yeah, Tech is another one, slower type of a name. Yeah, they're all showing some strength today. <clears throat> oh, looks like I got stopped out of an XTD. Oh, don't tell me this is me creating this wick. Don't tell me that was me. Okay, I need to see my fields here. Sorry guys, guys I'm sorry but that was me. I got filled a couple of hundred shares at 128. <laughs> yep, this is me. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. I didn't mean to, but this is this is this is how it is. This is what it. This is how it is. I'm sorry. You bought you bought my stop, you fucker. <laughs> Guys, you should work with me, not against me. I'm the whale, you're parasites. <laughs> NXTD. <laughs> uh, because everyone put their market stops at the same place. That's how these things happen. That was mainly my shares though. I, ha I didn't have that many though. I had 300,000 and the volume on this candle was... 740. So yeah, 40%, 45% of this volume was me. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to fuck you over. But I just fucked you guys over. And I fucked myself over and these algos fucked all of us. <laughs> 300k shares of low liquidity stock it's not low liquidity this thing can trade 100 million shares when the volume comes in like look at two days ago it, it traded um, 73 million shares 72 million shares 62 sorry it's not low liquidity Okay, let's see, what do we have here? QS is not really doing much. TNA. Yeah, let's see, so TNA, so the 10 day has been acting as support for a couple of months now, and now it may be acting as resistance. We'll see. It's too early to tell, but um, we'll see. Oh, Riot wants all-time highs. 
What a beast. Oh, MSTR hit new highs. Oh my god. Really? Why can't NXTD go? This is a coin pump too. Why, why can't this thing go to five bucks? I'll, I'll rebuy this thing. I'll do half a million shares when I rebuy it. Especially these other coin names keep going. KSS, look at these things now. Straight up. I, like, you know, this is a very good setup. This is a very, very good. This thing could go to 40. I don't know. It could go. I'm just passing on this. I, I, I'm not going to own any department stores. I'd rather not trade it at all than buy a department store. Market makers? There's no market makers. They're all algos. Market makers are a dead breed. There is no such thing as a market maker anymore. It's all algos nowadays. NXTD has nothing to do with the coins. Uh, yeah, but don't tell the Robin Hooders. I believe you. It's probably... This is an old Bitcoin pump. They also pumped this thing back in the last uh, December 2017. Crypto. Uh, but, you know, as long as people that trade this thing believe it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Tupperwares. Horrible things. <laughs> How can Tupperware be up uh, two thousand percent on the year? How can Tupperware be up two thousand percent? Sorry, since March, April. Impossible. Can yeah, it's another coin. Yeah, it is. Yeah. China Bitcoin miners. Okay. BTBT, BT, yeah, man. Who knew this volume was gonna come in? I didn't see this coming. Oh man, I would have bought this breakout if I knew this much volume was gonna come in. NET is another one coin name. They had a, they had PR today, right? Very low volume though. Oh, it's super low volume. Oh no, sorry, this is an EV name. Never mind. Ne uh, yeah, sorry, uh, never mind. It's in my blo oh, because it was a block blockchain pump a few years ago. Yep. So they, they had a bunch of blockchain related PRs and now they have a lot, a lot of EV related PRs. Kind of funny how it works. use went block five is it a blockchain related company yeah it is and fuse i think they're gonna merge with block five am i right or am i wrong hmm Yeah, e Ecos is coin related. Yep, it's too thin though. <sighs> or is it? Uh, I don't know. It probably is. Fuse, 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 fuse. Oh, 2.3 ADR. Ooh. Ooh. I need to check the, how Bitcoin is trading here. It's going higher. Okay. Yep, 
HVBTF isn't um, that a uh, yeah, high block? Oh, it's a bl yeah, it's also a blockchain. Yeah, of course. I may tuck away some of these uh, small um, crypto-related names. Like if if this if if Bitcoin keeps going, these things could double, triple, some of these. So I don't know. Why not? NXT. The, well, need some work. But this has to be the ultimate coin play. It's a spec, and it's uh, also a coin, uh, uh, like a crypto-related thing. Only thing is missing is the EV angle on that thing. And then it would be a perfect play. Twenty seventeen uh, Bitcoin article about the pump in twenty seventeen. Uh, about the pump in what? In Bitcoin? No, I haven't. Pinterest is weakening again. This, many of these growth names, they just don't look good. They just look very vulnerable. I don't like that. I do not like that. Gotta take it on a stock by stock basis, sector by sector basis. This is really a market of stocks. You gotta be in the right things. This is not a the tide lifts all. Wait, the, the tide lifts all boats type of a market anymore. You gotta be super selective. Oh, global leader. Yeah, Fuse is the global leader in. It's a global global leader SPAC in um, buying blockchain related companies that are also global leaders and may get into EVs. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a global leader in everything they do. That's the perfect company. It really is the perfect company. If you didn't think the perfect company didn't exist, well... <laughs> Wait, IPDN. Oh yeah, this thing, I remember this one. It got halted for seven months. Danimer Scientific, what the hell is this? DNMR. <sighs> Symbol not recognized, what? Trying to figure out what the hell this thing is. DNMR. I can't get it in any of my news services. Or, oh, it's a recent spec. Or, or, or what is it? I'm a global leader in trading. Oh well, thank you, David. I need to read up on this one. This thing is up, straight up. Imagine being in a stock that is halted for seven months. Seven months. Like what the fuck? Your money is stuck for seven months and you don't know when it's going to get unhalted. That's the worst thing. It's not like someone tells you on day two, oh, but this stock is going to get halted for seven months. That's not how it works. Horrible. Like if you knew when it's going to get unhalted, that's... That's another thing, but you, you literally don't know. 
You don't know if it's going to be another day or another year. Oh, MSDR is going. You gotta buy them right. This is like I bought it here and I sold it like here. But you know, this was the entry. And if I had bought here, I would still be in it. And this is gonna go to 500 for all I know. Soxel is going straight up. Ooh, Lyft and Uber look strong. Uber actually has a decent setup. I'm gonna pass on it, but it does look pretty decent. BLY, um, I think it needs to tighten up. It's a bit wide and loose right now. Spider is going, right? Yep, Spider is going. PDD, yeah, PD, and uh, Beely, this is the one. Man, I had such a perfect entry. My cells are always so bad. And look at this thing, it hasn't closed below the 10 day. It's just been. Here it undercut the 10 day, closed above. Here it undercut, closed at it. Here it un uh, undercut, built a higher low. It cl technically it did close below it, but since it was a wick and was way above the previous day's lows, it was still intact. All, you, all I had to do was follow the 10 day. Guys, again, like y you're learning from me in real time. You cannot outsmart the 10 day moving average. You literally cannot do it consistently. You just can't. Learn from me. You cannot outsmart it. If I would add on Tesla today on the long side, um, I'm not definitely not going to add since I'm in from like three days ago. Um, I don't know. I mean, it is getting tighter and tighter and building higher lows. That it is doing. So, I don't know. It looks like it wants to go higher. LAC starting to move. I would prefer uh, LAC the 10 day to catch up. Another two, three days of sideways would be great. And then I would, you know, buy that flag and I wouldn't hesitate to buy 150,000 shares or something. If it gets volume on the breakout from those levels.
laser. Yeah. Ideally, if it can tighten up for a few days. What's Fubo doing? Fubo, okay. Did they have a lockup today or tomorrow? It's right on the 20 day, so it's a big support level here. FUV, yeah, yeah, it may set up, maybe tomorrow, Matador, yeah, a lot of oil gas names, yep, yeah, it's a good looking setup, pretty, pretty setup, a lot of these are breaking higher. Yeah, we have some uh, serious rotation going on. Some serious rotation. KSS breakout? Yes, we know. It broke out out of the gate. Where did I buy fuel cell when it broke out? Right here. 817. Right here. When it bounced off the 20 day and broke out of this little range. Right here on the 60 minute. Right here. 817. Futu. Yeah, it is surfing the 50. Yeah, undercut the 50, reclaimed, and now it's building higher lows. Thoughts on CLF? Well, you know, it looks like a decent setup. Like all of these commodity names right now. It's, it looks like an okay setup. I'm passing on all of them. Looks like it bounced off the 10 and it may stop me out soon, potentially. Let's see. Again, it's hard to get a conviction in this tape. There are just not many great looking setups. Actually, I don't like any setups outside of these commodity related stocks. Palantir. Yeah, right now it's in backside though, it's below the 10 and 20, so I don't see anything here. It needs to, you know, reclaim them and, you know, go sideways. Tiger, it looks like a breakout. Uh, no, it doesn't. This is not, this is just uh, in the middle of nowhere. Where's the range on this thing? Needs to have a range, doesn't have a range. CLRB. Um, uh, I don't know, it looks too, it's just a, I don't know, I don't like it. No, I don't like it. It's a micro cap biotech, you know, you know, you don't need to ever trade these things. They're just too sketchy, all of them. When I, when I would short beam, when I get a good setup. Like maybe if it goes parabolic to 100 or something, that could be a nice. If it goes straight up to 100 in a few ways, days, that could be a good sh setup.
All of these momentum growth names, they're just looking so sloppy. Which one? Wait, wait, wait. Beam, you want to short it now? No, it's not. It just went sideways for two days. If you short it now, you're going to blow up sooner or later. This is a horrible idea. You either wait for a parabolic or you wait for backside. Neither of these, these criteria are present right now. This thing could go straight to 100. What's your, what's your plan then? No. Don't touch it here. Don't even look at it today. There's no point. Backside is when the moving averages that were previously support become resistance. The 10 and the 20 EMAs and the 65 EMAs on the 60 minute charts. ZDG. Uh, not yet. I think the 20 day needs to catch up. Chumi as a long. Uh, it needs to go sideways a bit, tighten up, I think. If you can go sideways for a couple of days, it would be great. It's become really choppy. It's not really clean anymore. Uh, but if you can go sideways, tighten up, I would maybe like it again. NXTD can't get above VWAP. That's not good. Grow generation, yeah. Yep, bounced perfectly up to 20. I sold it because it was like one or one and a half percent of my portfolio. I couldn't even care about it. Like I got a nice uh, like 70% gain out of it. So I'm happy with the trade. Uh, and now it's you know it's probably gonna go to 60 or something. But yeah, again, like I don't like having too many of these uh, like you know tiny positions. You and you your portfolio get becomes so bloated. It's hard to keep track of everything. CCK ADR 1.9. How are you supposed to make money on something like this? This is literally the type of stock. I, 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 guys, everyone should put ADR in your scans. This is like this is a waste of not only your time, but this is waste of everyone's time. ADR 1.9. What, what is this? Why, why, guys? Why don't you have ADR in your scans? If you have uh, trouble implementing in your scans, please ask for help. Dude, I'm sure people in the chat will help you. You should never get these things in your scans. This is called waste of time. David needs help. Like, I don't care how good the setup looks if it's like a 1.9 ADR. It's just a waste of time. Or it's a 2 ADR or 3. 
Like, I trade some of the lower ADRs, but I never trade something that's this slow. With the exception of this uh, that I bought today, this uh, SPAC name. But this is the type that could, you know, double uh, because it's a very hot sector. It's like a micro cap. So the ADR can very easily expand hard. But everyone needs to put, we all need to be on the same page. That's why the, you know, instructions are on the screen. Everyone needs to be on the same page. Yeah, Discord group can also help you. If if someone can post a link to Discord, you can ask questions there. Like half the chat room is also in Discord. And you can chat that. Oh my god, FCX. Maybe I shouldn't have passed on it. It's low ADR though. That's why I also didn't like it. But yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess these are the stocks that are working right now. Commodities and oil gas. Okay, that's fine. You can't be in everything, I guess. Why college should be free? Uh, why would you call it? This is why college should be free. Why? What? Why? What the instructions? I th <laughs> oh, never be free. Oh, okay. Why should it never be free? <laughs> I don't know what you are uh, pointing at. That's that's my question. Uh, SPR. Uh, uh, nah, I don't know. I don't like it. There were so many better setups to trigger today. <sighs> yeah, Tesla is like, it's just a grinder right up here. It's just, yeah, it's mov moving, it's getting really slow. But it's, it is relentlessly building higher lows. That's the thing, like, I think, you know, right now it's getting really tight. And maybe it starts, you know, zooming towards 800 soon. That's what I'm betting on, at least. I may add to this thing if I see a good setup, but right now, um, I don't, you know, I don't see a reason to add to my existing position. It's just grinding higher, and um, yeah. But I would love to add, add to it in case it wants to go to thousand or something. That would be great. Mu. Yeah, Mu. Yeah, it's a semi name. All the semi names are strong. I did some Soxo. Uh, triple ETF, but yeah. Yeah, Tesla is officially a boomer stock now. It is. Does Brandy Love have a stock trading site? <laughs> no. She could join us. Yeah. It's gonna, yeah, the Dow. Yeah, I know she's on uh, Cameo. I, I, I've been thinking about uh, hiring her on Cameo. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to watch this uh, video.
Oh my god, who did this? Who did this? Oh my god, this is so good! Who did this? Who was it? Who was it? Miguba? Miguba? Oh my god, this is so good! Holy fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! This is so good! No way! Okay, hey guys, let's watch it together. I don't care if my if my stream gets banned. This needs to we need to watch it together. Okay. Okay. We need to watch it together. I don't care if my stream gets banned by Twitch. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna start a new one. But this needs to be Okay, this is where I cut out the video. And for those who don't know, that's the great granddaughter of Chessie Livermore. If you don't know who Chessie Livermore is, please leave the chat room now. Please ban yourself. Um, but this was so epic. Oh my god. I'm gonna send this to my girlfriend and mom. This is so good. This is so good. Milf Merry Christmas, a very milfy Christmas. She's a porn star, no shit. Yes, she's the great granddaughter of Chessie Livermore. Yeah, her stock market place. It was uh, me. Wait, what's what was the? Uh, uh, oh, there's too much in the chat. Who did it? Hey, you who did it? Please say hi. I don't remember your your um, um, your name. What's her first name? Brandy. Off to the bucket shops we go. <laughs> yeah, Miguba, thanks, man. Th that was so epic. Holy, f I'm gonna post it on Twitter. Oh my god, it's so epic. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh man, so epic. I, 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 this is, I'm gonna live on this for a long time. I love my streamers. I love all of you, except for David. Is that Mikuva or Mikuva? This is so good. <laughs> I'm gonna send it to all my friends, wait. The stream has peaked? No, it's not. It's just a temporary pullback before a new uh, run. It is the best stream ever, yes. No other stream is gonna provide you this much value for free. Because all the other streamers, they're so afraid if they do something, you know, offend anyone or whatever, they're so afraid to get banned because their income depends on it. I don't give a shit. Like, I have multiple internet connections, multiple computers. I'll just start up a new stream. Oh, shit. I think Tan is going to get... Yeah, Tan going to stop me out. Or, yeah. So some things are look look like they're bouncing. This Devon looks really really good, really good setup. So thin though, but.
No, she wasn't referencing Thomas Guy. She she said my name, Christian Kalamagi. Is what she said. She didn't say Thomas. Uh, uh, how much uh, Brandy Love uh, on, is on Cameo? 150 bucks. 150 bucks. She said, he, she did say Thomas. Wait, I need to re-listen. When did she say Thomas? She didn't say. She starts with Christian Kalamaji. Exactly. Yeah, stop referring to some Thomas. Guys, you... <laughs> what the hell are you looking at? <laughs> There's no Thomas. In a different cameo? Well, I don't care what she did in a different cameo. Not in the one... <laughs> Yeah, I think some people are uh, watching uh, the wrong cameo here. <laughs> Twitter has the right link. Yeah, I posted the right link on Twitter. I double checked. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any more links. I, I was about to tag her on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 I didn't want to tag her on Twitter <laughs> because her Twitter is pretty uh, explicit. Let's put it that way. That was so epic. I, I, I'm gonna be honest guys, I, I watched the video like five times now. I, I, I kinda like it. So epic. Really good.
<laughs> AS again. Uh, I don't see a setup here. Yeah, a lot of stocks are up today, <clears throat> but uh, still no setups. I don't see. Well, this Uber is, could be a setup. Uh, not really excited. Lyft too, but it's already, you know, it's already at several bases. I don't know. Uh, Fiverr could be a good setup in uh, the three to five days if we can go sideways here. Could be a really good setup. But it needs a little bit more time. It needs to get above the 10 day. Um, Fruto is strong together with all the other China stocks. Beely is, well, Beely is, uh, well, it would be almost a double if I had kept my shares, but nope. Gold, yeah, gold uh, does look good. I'm gonna trade if it starts breaking higher. Like gold looks great on the weekly, in a long flag. It's been going sideways for what six months. Um, the last time it broke out of a flag, it had a well, gold. It's GLD had a 70% move, but if you look at stuff like Nugget and Chainog, like Nugget was up 67%, Chainog was up. 90% so um, yeah I'm, I'm stocking these these are the triple minor ETFs I'm gonna go long these if, if gold if GLD breaks out silver already broke out yeah it's kind of grinding higher uh, opinions on PayPal short I wouldn't short it I don't see a setup here Pinterest week again. Hmm. On the weekly, Pinterest right on the 10 weekly. It does have an air pocket to the downside. Hmm. Qs are red. Yeah. I sold DQQ yesterday. Because the only things I saw going up were these, um, like, mega cap stocks. That's not... 
Good. Yeah, now things are weakening. Yep. This is why I was so you know careful not buying all of these breakouts. I mean this they they could obviously work, but I just not my type of stocks. That's fine. Well, because the stocks that are green in your portfolio are not in the QQQ. But yes, relative strength. But but none of these stocks, the the JWNs, KSSs, Devons, FCXs, they're not in the QQQ. Oh no, you're not in those stocks. Okay. I did buy this e no, yeah, EWC yesterday. Like a lot of these uh, stocks that are strong today are in, you know, Brazil, Brazil based stocks, like stuff like PBR. Uh, Ve well, Veil is not really breaking out, but it's it looks like it's flagging. This is also in the like Brazil name. Yeah, but the Vale is a Brazilian name. This e e emerging markets are commodity, commodity heavy markets. So, you know, commodities go, the emerging markets go. Well, the US, for example, is tech heavy. WMG. Uh, yeah, it needs to go sideways a bit more. If this NIO can go sideways a few more days, it's gonna be a great, great setup on the long side. Commodities going up because dollar down, yeah. Laser breakout today, no. IPDN. I don't remember why it was halted last time. I don't remember why. Does anyone know, remember why IPDN was halted for seven months? I can't remember. Soxel flagged the. F no, it didn't. What, what are you talking about? Soxel looks great. What the hell are you talking about? Are we looking at the same thing? It looks absolutely fantastic. <sighs> HIMX. <clears throat> Q. 
QS, yeah, HIMX is so-so. I would prefer it being more tight. QS, yeah, QS, yeah, 20 day, that's my target. That's my first target, really. That's my first target. Uh, CDNA, uh, what's this? Looks good here. I don't see a setup. Uh, guys, do you know if there's a SPAC ETF yet? Ozone, it's a Russian... Yeah, it actually looks pretty good. Preferably can tighten up a little bit more, but it's actually flagging here. It's a, like an IPO, little IPO base here. It's a very thin stock, but yeah, it looks good. Especially if we can tighten for a few days, that would be a five-star setup on Ozone. S S P A K SPAC ETF okay oh it's so thin oh yeah it's super thin though that's the problem <clears throat> oh now these uh, cruise lines looking better again hmm. S P C X SPAC a new ESU ETF okay so it's like SPACs and IPOs or what does new issue mean? The mic is not off. Is the mic off? No, it's not. Hey, David, can you hear me? David, can you hear me? David can hear me? Hey, if David can hear me, anyone can hear me. Like, David has boomer ears. If he can hear me, there's nothing wrong with my mic. <laughs> well, now the markets are slow again. Whoa, what's going on here? MRO is triggering. Fang is triggering. Yeah, all, all the oil gas names are one by one triggering here. Yeah, NNDM, it's a dilution machine. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of demand on this thing. This thing has like had a five, six races over the, like six, six months, or if not more. 
It's incredible. Uh, let's see here. And, and then the... Uh, oh. I need to see... Let's see here. Snapshots. Graphs. Historical graph. Uh, let's see here. Data series. Shares. Uh, no. So this is what it looks like, NNDM. So they had, in, in Q1, they had what? 4 million shares outstanding. Now they have 46 million shares outstanding. Incredible, right? They diluted by 90%. If you bought it in April or March, you you have been diluted. Yeah, I mean you have been diluted pretty hard. They had a reverse split. Yeah, but that was in 2019. Yeah, but the thing is, it's at nine bucks. Let's say you bought it at 90, 93, right? You know, you've been diluted so many times, it doesn't matter that the stock is up 10 times. But yeah, it keeps going higher. They had a reverse split in June. Doesn't show up on TC2000. It's not 90% dilution, it's a thousand percent weight. Is it? Yeah, it is a thousand percent. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, it is a thousand percent. Hundred and seventy two million shares. Hmm, I'm gonna check what Market Smith says. Um, well Market Smith numbers are way off. It shows point nine shares a million shares, which is completely not correct, but Yeah, exactly. Buy it and stop thinking. Yeah, I know, I know. This is the type of market. We are in. You don't need to overthink things. <laughs> That's the beauty of this market. Uh, I think I'm going to cut this stream now. Um, so I didn't do a lot today. I bought some tiny positions in this HVBTF. And I also bought uh, this Fuse. And I also bought Soxel. Other than that, and I also shorted some Pinterest. We'll see. I'm not gonna hold all of these overnight. Depends on how they close. It's kind of a two-way. I mean, it's it's kind of. I I'm not getting a good read on it, except for these commodities. Like th these are clearly the leading sectors right now, and also um, semiconductors. <clears throat> but other than that, the stocks I like are not really, or the sectors I like are not really, are mostly not really looking good, except for Bitcoin. And I, it looks like I'm gonna get stopped out of this tan any moment. Um, but we'll see. Like um, I, I think this Arc ETFs are for now holding the rising 20 day, which is good.
All right. Uh, anywho, thanks for joining. Thanks. Thank you very much for the Brandy Love video. That was the best thing ever. <laughs> Epic day, yeah. Okay, thanks guys. Uh, take care and see you tomorrow.